I know a lot of people tend to spend a lot of money on tires on these cars. 315s, jeez, these things are massive. <laughs> these are good daily driven tires and they work. What it is, what's happening YouTube, it's your boy Certified, and I'm back with another banger for you guys. Y'all already know what's up. If you're not a subscriber to this channel yet, go and smash that subscribe button. You know why? Because it don't cost me nothing. It don't cost you nothing. Just click that red button. So I got Nunu in the backdrop. Y'all already see it. But um, if you watched my last video, um, I actually had to put my factory tires back on there because I caught a flat, all right? So I'm actually not gonna put new tires on my wheels just yet. Um, if, you, if this is your first time watching this uh, channel, um, make sure you hit that subscribe button first and foremost, but um, I have the Ferrada CM1s that are the, what is it? What is it? The for, um, forged Cobra, uh, brushed Cobra. All right, they're the brushed Cobra color. I don't feel like grabbing these tires and taking them off so y'all can see it. But anyways, if y'all want to see it, make sure y'all tune into my Instagram or tune into my past videos so y'all can see what they look like. But anyways, I had to put my stock wheels back on there and um, my back wheels, um, the tires are actually pretty flat. So I had to order some new tires. So these are it right here. So. That being said, if you're like me and you mod on a budget, you don't want to spend a ton of money on products that uh, aren't going to last you a long time. So for me, I know a lot of people tend to spend a lot of money on tires on these cars and for a good purpose, because it's already hard enough for Hellcats to keep traction. Um, these 392s, they tend to... Um, be a pain in the butt too when it comes to traction. So what a lot of people generally do is they choose to go with a wider set of tires. Um, they generally go with uh, either 275s, well, the Scats come with 275s, so they either go with uh, 285s or 295s in the rear. But, but if you have the Hellcat reps or any other type of replica wheel that is wider than the factory tires, which these are, those are the Hellcat reps, which are 20 by 11s in the back and 20 by nine and a half in the front. You can actually fit 315s on there. Um, just to show you guys real quick. So what I have on there right now is the Continental Extreme Contact Sports. Um, and these are 315, 35, 20. All right, you can fit them on a 11 inch wheel. Um, if you try to put 315s on a 22 inch wheel, they will rub like crazy, um, but they also rub on the 20s. I know that's been an ongoing question that people have like, do 315s rub? Yes, they do rub for a little while. And then after a while, um, it will stop rubbing. All right, so I haven't really got any pictures on the inside to actually show you guys where it rubs at, but I, it definitely rubs up here on the plastic. Um, you can't really see it right now, but after a while it stops rubbing, all right? And that's only when you're hitting a big dip in the road. Other than that, it drives just fine. Once it, once that plastic, I guess, rubs in, then after that, you won't have any rubbing issues anymore. So I don't have any rubbing issues now, but other than that, they do fit and they grip actually pretty decently. So. Uh, as y'all can see, I don't know if I can really show y'all. There we go. It is time to get these things changed out. I actually got a little bit of life left in those, but um, yeah, it's it's time to get these things changed out because um, I spin like crazy now. These things ain't gripping no more. So I know y'all probably wondering, well, what tires am I going with? Because Continental tires are not cheap and they're actually pretty good tires. However, they don't last long, especially with my driving habits. So what I tend to do is I generally get some, I'm gonna call them Amazon brand. They're not Amazon brand, but I generally go with Amazon brand tires such as Lexani's, which these are it right here. Um, Lexani's, Lionheart's, um, Aturo's, um, and these are actually full way. All right, these are the full way HP 108s. I'm trying to find the actual, there we go. Show it to you on the other tire. Full way HP 108s. 
and these things are massive like 315s geez these things are massive just to show you guys that i am running 315s on these as well oh now i can't find it there we go boom 315s 35 zr20 same thing as those in the back it gives it a nice stance. I'm telling y'all that, that those 315s gives the car a beautiful stance and they grip. Um, I'm not gonna say it solves your spinning issues and traction issues completely, but it makes a world of a difference if you run 315s on the scats. Um, as far as Hellcats, I've heard they make a big difference, but I can't speak for Hellcats because I don't own a Hellcat, all right? So the purpose of this video is to actually let you guys know that it's okay to run off-brand tires. They do just fine, especially for a daily driven car. For those of you that are looking for extreme performance and extreme uh, uh, grip, then yeah, you may want to look into Nitto or um, Continental. Um, there's other brands out here, but you're going to be spending roughly $350 to $400 a tire, maybe more in some cases. Um, but I'm not really worried about that because this is my daily driver. And for daily driving, these tires actually do fairly well. Um, the Lexanis, Linehearts, and even these, um, I actually haven't driven. Actually, no, I'll take that back. I have driven on four ways before and I've never had an issue with them. All right. And they last for I will say an average amount of time, especially for spirited driving like I do. So I will say I would change tires roughly every, I would say a year and a half to two years, depending on how aggressively I drive. And that's with burnouts and all kinds of stuff. So I'm pretty sure if I didn't do all that, they will last me a pretty good time. Um, another reason why I choose to go with tires like these that are more budget brand friendly is because if I do want to take it to the track or occasionally to Mexico, I have a dedicated pair of drag radars right here. Mickey Thompson ET Street SSs. All right. So if I really need that performance, I'll just come home and slap these on and boom, I'm in the game. All right. But let's go ahead and get these things mounted up and I'll give you guys a good review on how these things actually perform. So, um, another thing that I got to get done when I uh, get to the tire shop is get these TPMS sensors changed out because, well, one actually needs to get, uh, well, two of them actually need to get installed, but um, the other two, I'm actually going to go ahead and get changed out since I ordered all new TPMS sensors as well uh, because on my last video, check out my last video when I caught my flat. Um, the two wheels that I needed to get my tires mounted on, um, they didn't have TPMS sensors installed on those wheels. So I don't want to constantly see this tire light on. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know about y'all, but I hate seeing yellow, red lights, whatever. I hate seeing that stuff on the dash, man. So as y'all can see right now, uh, actually what's crazy is this is actually reading wrong because the tires that don't have sensors in there are actually the front tires. So I don't know why the back tires are reading up front and vice versa, but whatever. I definitely need to get these uh, sensors installed and it's these right here. I actually ordered those on Amazon as well. So I'm actually gonna just give y'all a good review on budget friendly stuff that y'all can buy for your cars, man. Y'all don't actually always have to buy expensive stuff to get good results, um, especially for daily driven cars such as mine and for budget friendly um, purchases and, and, and budget friendly mindsets that, you know, people that don't wanna spend thousands and thousands of dollars on upgrades that aren't necessarily necessary if it's a preference that's one thing but a lot of people tend to do research um, they don't really know much about certain things and you know they get told that oh you need to buy this you need to buy that or you know you get those people that just believe in brands uh, specific brands and they, they just swear about them which is fine there are you know you get what you pay for in most cases but it's not necessarily a necessity. So that's the purpose of this video. So I'll catch y'all as soon as I get to the shop. Yo, this thing is crazy. Did y'all just hear that blower on that thing? Holy crap, look at those tires. Sheesh. This thing is, wow. I don't know 
know if y'all can see the blower on that thing. Like you can actually see it right there sticking out the hood. That's crazy. Wish you can give me a pull, man. That thing, I bet you that thing is nasty on the track. With the size tires he got on the back, he has to be tracking that thing. You can just hear that supercharger or whatever is on that thing. So I officially dropped the car off. She's right there. It's probably gonna be about an hour or so before I get these tires changed out. But I'm at America's Tire Company. Um, they're gonna hook it on up for me and she'll be back right. Um, hopefully I don't have that uh, TPMS sensor light after that. No, it shouldn't be because they're brand new TPMS sensors. So, but before y'all blow my comments up, especially for those that have been uh, following me on my channel, these are not the wheels that came on my car. All right, so when I bought this car, I bought this car brand new. It came with the actual Daytona wheels. So funny story, but I'm gonna try to make it real short for you guys is uh, I had my Ferratas on there. My factory wheels were in storage and a friend of mine, he needed some stock wheels because he was trading his scat in and he did not have his factory wheels. All he had was aftermarket wheels, but he wanted some, some, some factory scat wheels on his car so he can trade his car in and actually resell the wheels that he had for it. So we actually did a trade. So I, I just remember, I did, we did a trade. Um, so he gave me his aftermarket set um, for, which were actually Ferratas as well, which were the original Ferratas that I had, the uh, FR2s. He had the exact same set on his car. So I actually took those. And I, initially I was like, yo, if I ever catch a flat or whatnot, I have a second set of Ferratas. But, but uh, my dog Ryuk, uh, 707 on Instagram. Make sure y'all check him out. His Hellcat is sick. Thousand wheel horsepower Hellcat. Daily driven at that. But anyways, I actually did a feature on, feature on on this channel on his Hellcat, but it does not look like that anymore. He actually did a dope rap on it. Anyways, just check him out. Just definitely check him out. But anyways, he took the the Ferratas that uh, I got from my friend that he actually traded with me, and um, yeah, he was like, hey, um, I want those, and I'll give you my Hellcat reps. Um, in exchange um, and before y'all ask well he has a Hellcat how did he have he reps well the reason why he had the reps is because the Hellcat replicas are actually wider than the stock reps I think the stock reps only 20 by nine and a half um, so he wanted the 20 by 11s in the back um, just to kind of give it that off that aggressive look and um, before it actually gets taken in it gives it a definite definite dope stance man especially with the 315s gives it that meaty sporty look that a lot of people are looking for so yeah so he ended up giving me those but before he had the chance to give it to me um he had a slight little incident he ended up going to the track he has a drag pack for his hellcat and um he ended up driving home on his drag pack and put the factory wheels on the bed of a truck and two of them fell off in the middle of the highway and he didn't realize it until he actually got home <laughs> so which happened to be the two front wheels so when i actually got the wheels from him he was like hey i'm gonna get you two new front wheels don't worry about it but here are the back wheels for now so i ended up having to wait on the two front wheels which is why if you saw it in my last video i had to get those tires mounted on there um before i was able to put them on the car because i had the wheels tires just separate sitting in the house and yeah anyways 
but that's how this thing came about like i said these are not the factory wheels that came with this car but i like these much better the five spokes in my opinion are the best wheels best looking wheels outside of like the wide body chargers and uh challenges stuff those are in my opinion they look even better but for the slim bodies those are the best looking wheels in my opinion but i got about a good hour hour and a half to spare so i'm gonna wait on this thing and catch you guys when uh this thing is done up all right so it's actually two days later now um i actually had to rush out the shop the first day um because i had to pick my dog up because the groomer was closing because i took him to the groomer and everything so i actually couldn't get the tires done that day i had to come back a day later well two days later and uh, so today's actually the third day yeah today's the third day um but yeah i had to come back two days later and actually get those tires mounted up um but anyways that was a long day long day frustrating but long day but to show y'all i do have them mounted up let me show you guys real quick and there you go 315 there, are. Uh, there we go there we go 315 35 20. um and like i said this thing gives it a nice mean stance um i had to put, put on my bra because i'm actually taking a nice little road trip today so I can actually give you guys a good review on how these tires are doing on the highway. And um, I'm actually gonna give you guys a, a small pull as I get on the on-ramp, um, just to let you guys know that these actually grip just like any other name brand or high name brand tire, like Continentals, Nittos, anything like that. Granted, like I said, if you do any type of racing or anything like that, I wouldn't suggest those tires because they're not going to grip nearly as good as any high performance tire like the Nittos, um, some of the Nittos, not all the Nittos, but some of the Nittos, some of the Toyos. Um, there's so many brands out here, but um, again, these are good daily driven tires and they work. They just work and they last long. Um, just again, just to show you guys, I have the Lexanis on the front. Lexanis and they are the LX20s. So on average, um, these, you can find those on Amazon for around between 120 and 160 dollars depending on the size that you need uh, for those 315s those were 165 a piece which is extremely budget friendly compared to a lot of the other brands out here but without further ado what you guys want to see let me give you guys an actual drive review of those all right so i'm actually about to hit the on-ramp onto the highway i'm actually going to do a uh, 30 roll uh, generally 20 and 30 rolls is like the the sweet spot for our chargers especially stock non-boosted and stuff like that it's kind of the sweet spot but generally with average tires you're you're going to spin so let me actually give you guys a little 30 roll real quick I mean, I still got a little bit of wheel spin. I don't know if you guys heard that in the video, but these things grip. And, and I would say they grip just as good as the Continentals did that I had on the car. So I'm telling you guys, these are good budget friendly tires. All right, for, especially for those that love to do burnouts like myself. Um, if you guys can you know, afford tires every three, three to six months, you know, $300 for a set of tires, rear tires, in my opinion, is extremely cheap compared to a possibly five, $600 set just for rear tires. But I'm cruising around 70 miles an hour right now. Ooh, need an oil change. But uh, yeah, I'm cruising around 70 miles an hour right now and I don't have any shake. I don't have any um, wobble issues or anything like that. And even when they mounted the tires up, they didn't mention that they were having problems balancing the tires, nothing. Uh, it was literally a straightforward tire change. And I don't hear any road noise as far as coming from the tires. These tires are super quiet. Um, as far as the longevity, like I said, I've been riding around on not necessarily these full runs, uh, full ways, um, but I've had these full ways in the past and I've never had any issues with them. They're literally just like the Lexanis, the Lionhearts that you can find on Amazon. Um, they're good tires. I'm telling you guys, they're good tires. So if you guys are budget friendly like myself or 
even if you have the money, but you don't want to spend and waste a ton of money on some tires that you really don't need, check out the um, the Fullways, the Lexonics, and the Linehearts. They're definitely uh, worth the money, in my opinion, for what you get anyways. But, uh, but yeah, and that's going to wrap it up for today's video, y'all. I'm glad uh, all my supporters have been sticking around. Uh, my videos are going to start picking back up because I'm now back in the routine. So make sure y'all hit that notification bell if you haven't already done so. And um, yeah, man, I, again, I thank all my supporters, subscribers. And if you haven't already hit that sub button, hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're waiting on. You know why? Because it don't cost me nothing. And it don't cost you nothing. Just click that red button. Also, follow me on our Instagram um, and hashtag salute and certified drip on all your pictures and videos to show love and support to the channel. And until next time, YouTube, I hope y'all have a good day.